Hi friends, welcome to VK CK Ideas. In today's session, we learn a special property in triangles. I have a triangle ABC for which I would be drawing parallel lines. Base of the triangle ABC, that is AB, has many parallel lines for it. Now let me consider P4, that is which is coinciding on AB. And you can choose any other parallel line. Here I am choosing P6. So these two are parallel to one another. This parallel line P6 is intersecting the sides AC and BC. Let me say at the point X and Y. I will make a small observation here. This line XY has divided the line AC in such a way that XC has 1, 2, 3, 4 equal parts and XA has 2 equal parts. If I write the ratio of XC and XA, it will be 2 by 1 or 2 is to 1. Okay, we observe one side. Now, let us observe another side that is BC. Now, the line XY is intersecting BC at the point Y. We shall observe the segments made here. CY is divided into 1, 2, 3 and 4 equal segments. Now, YC is 4 and observe YB it is two parts. Now, if you take the ratio, it is again two by one, that is two is to one. Now, we have made a small observation that XC by XA is equal to YC by YB. Let us write down our observation, XC by XA is equal to YC by YB. Is it true in other cases also? Yes, it is. I have a triangle PQR. I have drawn it on ruled paper. So, every line here is parallel to QR. Let me choose any one of the line. Say here, let me name it as say AB. Now line AB is parallel to QR. Now let us make the observations as we did in the previous case. Now PA has how many equal parts? 1, 2, 3, 4. And AQ has how many equal parts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, if I make it a ratio, PA by AQ, it is 4 by 5. Similarly, we'll observe the other side, PR. Now, observe, PB is divided into how many parts? 1, 2, 3 and 4 equal parts. Now, PR is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 equal parts. Now, if I write the ratio PB by BR, it is 4 by 5 again. Now, from 1 and 2, we can come to the conclusion that PA by AQ will be equal to PB by BR. So, in any triangle, if a line is drawn parallel to one side, of the triangle to intersect the other two sides at two distinct points. The other two sides are divided in the same ratio. BC is parallel to PQ. Now PQ is the line segment which is intersecting AB and AC at P and Q. Therefore, AP by PB 
will be equal to AQ by QC. In this case, we have drawn parallel to the base. Is it true if it is drawn to any other side? Yes, of course it is equal. Now, in the triangle DEF, which is a right angle triangle, I have drawn parallel to FD, which is the hypotenuse. In this triangle, FD is parallel to RS. Therefore, the other two sides, that is EF and ED, are divided in the same ratio. That is, ES by SF is equal to ER by RD. This was the observation made by a Greek mathematician, Thales, which we are studying now as Thales theorem. It is also known as basic proportionality theorem. The theorem states that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points, the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. Hope you got it. And you also do the same activity. You to take a rule sheet of paper, draw any triangle of your choice, draw a parallel line and count the equal number of parts and make sure that the sides are divided in the same ratio. We'll meet in the next video with a new activity and a new concept. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you.